Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and staff improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing how to set boundaries with your ex. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. Check out my socials for extra content. The links are in the description. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing how to set boundaries with your ex. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you will need to set boundaries with your dumper. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing three important boundaries you need to set between you and your ex. So let's get straight into this. And point number one, boundary number one, is after the breakup. So the first boundary we're going to be speaking about today is soon after the breakup takes place. You are the dumpy. Unfortunately, your relationship has ended. You didn't want it to end. You want to get your ex back ASAP. But unfortunately... You probably realise at this time, it might not be as easy as you would hope. And therefore, it's important to set boundaries straight away because this could be a long road ahead, but certainly one that you can get to where you are hoping to achieve. And therefore, the first boundary we're going to speak about today is don't have a relationship that you don't want to with your ex. Now, the reason I say this is because your ex the dumper might try and change the dynamic that you were used to. They might change the dynamic that you had when you were officially together. And if you want your ex back, you need to make sure you get your ex back in the dynamic that you feel comfortable with, presumably the dynamic that you were together with prior to the breakup. And therefore, if your ex dumper is offering you anything else other than what you want, you can't accept this. This needs to be a boundary. The boundary that you won't have a relationship, you won't accept a relationship unless it is the relationship that you desire. Don't accept something you don't want. Don't think to yourself, well, I'll accept this dynamic because I can try and shift this into something that I truly want later down the line. Unfortunately, this is very unlikely to be the case. Now, sometimes a dumper might try and change a romantic relationship into something which is a lot more casual, something such as a friend with benefits. Now, you might think to yourself, Okay, well, I can be intimate with my former partner and this could be a way that we get back together. Now, although there is somewhat of a fine line between this, as in if you both two consenting adults want to be intimate later down the line, this could be a way that you develop your relationship from the sad state of affairs it is right now into something which becomes more serious once more. That is something which can be somewhat of a gateway later down the line. But what I would suggest is that if fairly soon after the breakup, your expert dumper is offering you intimacy, offering you something which is very similar to a friends with benefits, I would suggest that they actually want to transition your relationship into a friends with benefits long term. This isn't a scenario where maybe you haven't spoke for nine months. You then start to slowly reconnect over text or calls. You then meet up and you're intimate because you are both comfortable with that position and then things build from there. That would be the gateway, which is potentially a lot more natural into something which is genuinely possibly more authentic. But if you've just been dumped and a few weeks, couple of months down the line, your expert dumper contacts you and asks if you want to hook up. Well, you have to really ask yourself, is this something which is going to be that gateway to get my ex back? Or instead, are they just trying to transition the romantic relationship we had into a friends with benefits? Sadly, that is likely the case. They're probably just wanting to move things along in a different direction to what you truly want. And therefore, you need to make sure the boundaries you have in place, but you won't accept a relationship that you don't want. It's either a romantic relationship or nothing at all. Similarly, your expert dumper might offer you platonic friendship. If you think that getting into the friend zone could be a way to get your ex back, or sadly, you're very likely to be upset down the line when your ex dumper treats you as a platonic friend as you've accepted to be and introduces you to their new girlfriend 
or new boyfriend. This is something which would likely hurt you deeply. Now, escape him a friend zone, escape him a friends with benefits situation is possible. I'm not here to say that it's not possible at all to transition things back to where you want them to be. But listen, I've been doing this job a long time now, and I very rarely see this taking place. More often than not, if there is something which seems like your ex pedomper is trying to move a romantic relationship to something you don't want, then sadly, that is likely to be the case that they want to keep it forevermore. You will know the difference. You will know deep down the difference between an authentic, genuine transition where something could eventually evolve back to romance and something which is sadly them just trying to say, look, I don't want to be romantic with you. I just want friends with benefits or I just want platonic friendship. I just want that and nothing more. You will know the difference and you shouldn't be accepting something that you don't want because if you want romance, it should be romance or nothing else. So please, when you're setting that first boundary, it needs to be soon after the breakup has taken place. And that is, don't have a relationship that you don't want. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast. Please like this video if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. And point number two, boundary number two, is to your own reconnection. So this is now looking at a more positive state of your situation of where you and your ex dumper are reconnecting. I see this all the time. People can get their ex back. Will you definitely get your ex back? Sadly, not necessarily. There is no 100% guaranteed way to get an ex back. However, it is certainly possible. It is certainly, in my opinion, very common for those people who live their life the right way and try to reconnect with the right type of person. But I digress. If you're in that position where you are getting your ex back, things are going really well and reconnection is taking place, you need to make sure you put in place another boundary. And that boundary is don't allow yourself to be quizzed on your dating life since the breakup. Now you need to use your common sense here. There is going to be a likely question of are you single? Now, if you're asked, are you single and you're not, I really think you should be telling the truth, okay? You shouldn't be telling a lie here because I'm suggesting that you shouldn't be asked the question, you shouldn't be quizzed about whether you're seeing somebody else. You shouldn't be seeing two people at once, in my opinion. You shouldn't be trying to have all of your cake and eat it, okay? So if you're dating someone else, you shouldn't be trying to tell a lie here. But if you are single, then don't be afraid to tell them that you're single. I'm not talking about that when I say don't be quizzed on your dating life since the breakup. Now, what I'm talking about is if your ex dumper is trying to reconnect with you, but during that reconnection, during that time where you're talking, maybe you're going on a few dates, but you're not actually exclusive, don't allow them to be quizzing you on how many people you've dated, how many people you've been intimate with, how many people you've done this, that or the other with since your breakup. Because in my opinion, it's none of their business. They ended the relationship. Right now, you aren't back together. Right now, you are somewhat reconnecting, but you aren't exclusive. You aren't a couple. You aren't an item. You aren't two people who should be sharing the innermost things between one another which are private to you. I don't think you should. Maybe you disagree. But I would suggest that as long as you are single and you are telling them you are single, that is all they really need to know. Okay, you could be somewhat vague on the matter. If they ask you, have you dated since I ended a relationship? You could say, yeah, I've been on a few dates, but nothing that went anywhere. Okay, it can be as simple as that. You don't need to be giving intimate details on every potential encounter or date you've been on to someone who is not your boyfriend or girlfriend. Remember, they are not your current partner. And even if they were, you don't have to tell them every single thing about you unless you feel comfortable doing so. We are allowed a private life. And unless it affects them directly, then you shouldn't feel pressured to tell them. Let's not forget, they've dumped you. They've come back. They have no right to quiz you on anything about your life during the time between them dumping you and now them wanting to reconnect. So don't allow that to take place. Make sure you set a boundary. And if they try to pressure you into it, say, hey, you know, you end of a relationship. 
I'm happy you want to get back together. This is going well. I'm single right now. You're single right now. Why can't we just take it from there and don't have all of these frustrations coming into play about you did this, you did that. At the end of the day, when the relationship ended, you both became single and your lives are private to you. You don't owe them anything. And sadly, even if you feel otherwise, they don't owe you anything. When you're both single, your lives are private. Now, maybe there is specific instances which need to be addressed and discussed if this is connected to a potential affair, for instance. Look, every scenario is different, but I'm speaking generally. Now, generally speaking, if you've been on a few dates in between your breakup and now, you certainly don't have to be giving bullet points of every single thing you did and said with anybody else other than them in between then and now. You don't owe it to them. They shouldn't be quizzing you and you need to make sure you put that boundary in place. Now, if you would like advice and support about how to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service where me and you can speak one-on-one -on -one about your unique specific situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. Talking about your feelings can also improve your mental health. It helps prevent the buildup of negative emotions, which can lead to stress, anxiety, depression, and even physical health issues. Speak your heart to free your mind. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast. If you feel that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. And point number three is after you get your ex back. So point number three is now thinking of the time where you and your now ex dumper are actually back together. You've reconnected. You are no longer dumper and dumpy. Instead, you are within a relationship which is exclusive, which is loving. But there are still boundaries that you should have in place. And when you get back together, the boundary that you need to be placing, boundary number three of today's podcast, is don't give up who you are. Now, this is really, really important. When we are single, we live a single life. Now, if you're a dumb P, you have likely been on a long, somewhat challenging journey post-breakup until now. You've probably gone through self-discovery, self-improvement, becoming a version 2.0 of yourself. Maybe you reconnected with old friends. Maybe you made new friends. Maybe you started to attend new classes, groups, and clubs. Perhaps you did things which you used to do back in the day and then didn't during the relationship and then you rediscovered them. But I think it's really important that you don't give up who you are once you get back into a relationship with your ex or for that matter, anybody. We need to stay as individuals. Now listen, use your common sense. When you get into a relationship, there are going to be compromises. You are now wanting to spend time with a romantic partner. You won't have time to do everything but used to do as a single person. But there are compromises which have to be made, which allow you to still live the life of who you are. If you don't live the life of who you are, you will eventually blend into one person. And this isn't healthy. This is very unlikely to last forevermore as a relationship. You need to be an individual. I honestly believe that the most successful relationships are between two individuals rather than one mutilated person who has come between you two forging together. I think this is something that you need to be very, very cautious of because if you're not careful, you could give up on all the things you were doing as a single person, especially when we're talking about an ex. We're talking about somebody who dumped you. Now you've reconnected and you probably just want to get back to the life that you lived with them. But let's not forget that unfortunately you were dumped and that life you had together wasn't perfect. Maybe there are things that you did which now you regret and you acknowledge and you need to change. Perhaps you actually think to yourself, they, they did a few things wrong as well. You know, they're only human. They also made mistakes despite them being of a dumper. When we reconsider the situation and acknowledge our own mistakes, also thinking about your ex dumper's errors, then we can see that this new relationship needs to be different. It's a brand new relationship hopefully built on stronger foundations. It can't go back to what it was. So don't quit everything you've been doing. Don't just forget about the friends, which you forgot about before, 
or maybe have only recently made. If you do this, you are walking into the trap of potentially being dumped certainly a few months down the line. Maybe, in fact, you become the dumper because you are no longer enjoying this connection. The fact that you're back together is because your ex dumper regrew romantic emotional attraction for you and they grew it based upon who you were as that single person, not the person that they dumped, the person you are now. So I think it could be a huge error of judgment if you instantly remove all of those new elements about who you are now and try to go back to the person that they actually dumped. So please, don't give up who you are. Don't forget who you are right now. Remain an individual. Realise that this person, the person who was single, was the person that they want to be with. And although there will be a level of sacrifice, a level of compromise, we have to recognise that removing all of the things which got our ex back is likely to mean we lose our ex later down the line once more. Please don't give up who you are.